Israel is anxious to show the world that it is a tiny country and surrounded by many, many enemies, all of whom commit transgressions against it. I'm terrified of helicopters. Still building it, as you see. Yeah. But today with the tunnels, it's useless actually. So now we're going to go and have a look in here at uh, something the Israelis discovered, which is a, uh, a very deep tunnel uh, which was dug by uh, the Hezbollah terrorists uh, in order to infiltrate <coughs> Israeli territory. You'll be able to have a look at the tunnel and, and a little later on in this piece uh, you'll also be seeing a tunnel dug by Hamas. Um, so uh, it's a little bit of fun for you that you can judge who builds the better tunnels, Hamas or Hezbollah? Which, which is your favourite terrorist tunnelling organisation? Uh, so what we're doing at the moment is we're lowering a, a camera down so that you can see just how far down it goes. The IDF found uh, exactly six tunnels in the area, all heading into Israeli territory. Told the UN about it, brought UN inspectors round, and the UN agreed that the blue line, which separates Israel from Lebanon, had been violated by the Lebanese, but it refused to name Hezbollah as being the culprit. I don't know who else they thought would have done it. And we're heading to something called Bintel Mountain. This is the Golan Heights, and it's very beautiful. Now you're looking onto Israeli ground. Back this is Israel. all Israel? Yeah, they're Syria, the water reservoir, the mountains. They're going to have a better look. Like. And the reservoir, that's Syrian? That's already Syrian, yes. Yeah, hello Syria. You see that the border goes here, it goes on a mountain ridge. The battles in 67 ended here because it's the watershed line and it gives us strategic control both of the Syrian side and the Israeli side. Right, but We're this at... is the important point, isn't it? The, the, the geopolitically, as you're saying, this is crucial to Israel. It's, it's but not... nonetheless, it's illegal. We can argue on that. <laughs> Again, if I'm being bombed by a country for 19 years, when you look at security issues, we cannot allow the Syrians to come to our most important water source and threaten us. And we understand today the importance of this when you see what's happening in Gaza, where we withdrew and look No, I understand the pragmatics of it and the logistics yes, so you're of saying it. The legal. It's the legal side. The legal side, I'm pretty sure lawyers better than me can argue on it, but I understand what you're saying. Kibbutzim next to the fence with Gaza. One is Nir Oz, Nachal Oz. And what's the name of this kibbutz? Ena Shlosha. We are in the border. Do they ever attack the kibbutz? They all the time attack the kibbutz. Well, what, what happens? What would happen? We have thousands of rockets. Wouldn't it be better to live somewhere else? No. <laughs> Why, Look, it's beautiful. Well, it's very beautiful, but I mean, if you get bombed once a month, Okay, so this is the uh, kibbutz of En Hashlosha, and this is Gaza. That's how close it is. That's the fence which uh, forms the border of the kibbutz, just beyond there. So what happens is the rockets come over from here. The alarm is sounded. The people who live in the kibbutz have exactly 15 seconds to get themselves into shelter. Have, uh, are they still building tunnels? Yes, they are. They are effective in allowing terrorists to overcome defenses and to get inside and to attack. And what we'll see inside now, you'll see a, an authentic tunnel. You'll see the Israeli part that we've added that just allows you to get down and connect to it. And then we'll walk inside an uh, authentic Hamas tunnel that was dug a few years ago. An authentic Hamas tunnel. I, this is, uh, has made my day. Hey, I'm absolutely certain. Oh. that there are no Hamas hiding in here. <laughs> now you'll be walking inside the original park, you'll see the concrete slabs. Mind your head, 
It's a bit narrow. Are they all very short, Palestinians? <laughs> it's a really expensive operation. An awful lot of money, probably quite a lot of Western aid money, goes into building these tunnels, which uh, are estimated to cost the Palestinians somewhere like a uh, million dollars per tunnel, which is quite a lot of money. So this is a tunnel constructed by Hamas, and they'd scurry along here and pop up and try and kill people uh, or abduct them. Uh, I can't say I envy them.